Thank you all for being here. Now, as you may know, my life is about to get a lot busier with my show, endorsements, YouTube, washing my hair, etc. So, you've all been chosen to be my body doubles. Um, don't you think people will be able to tell we aren't you? Nah, I've learned that we all look the same to white people. I mean, NBC is still addressing me as Mindy Kaling. Okay, so. You need to learn how to be me, because while I shoot my show, some of you will attend meetings, some of you will do my conference calls, some of you will even be fulfilling my therapy sessions, okay? Because my therapist thinks we need more work-life balance. <laughs> we think she's overreacting. Uh, what kind of music do we like? Mm, you see, we like rap music, but we're conflicted because we're also feminists, yeah. So we just pretend that we don't understand what the word thought means. But unlike rappers, we're cheap. Wait, I thought we were rich. Oh, we are so rich. But we got rich by being cheap. You know, they say fine dining, we say Costco samples. Shit. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. We actually don't swear, okay? We love when other people swear, but it doesn't sound right when we do, okay? One of the various ways we suppress ourselves. We prefer words like fudge, fudgeo, fudgesicle, mother fudger, son of a fudge. Do we like fudge? Hate it, more of a Skittles person. Okay, listen, if you attend a meeting for me, there's a 100% chance it'll be with a group of white men. Here's what to do. Tell a joke about not being a doctor. They love that. <laughs> and then use buzzwords like diversity, multicultural, inclusion, minority, woman of color. Uh, do you think I can say woman of color? Don't you think they would catch on at that point? Trust me, if they correct you, they're racist. And no one wants to be racist in public, okay? Sexist maybe, but racist? At least once a meeting, convert a fraction into a percentage because half of the time it allows them to make an easy joke about Indians being good at math. So like 50% of the time? Good girl, because that makes them feel funny and then we can laugh all the way to the bank. But first we stop at Costco for free samples. What about dating? Oh, well, we like boys. And girls. Google it, you'll be fine. Are we good at relationships? Um, we could be better. You know, I think we need to get better at showing up for things that matter to us. I'm not really sure. Therapy group, can you report back? Ooh, on that note, could you also let us know about the whole how to forgive adults for never showing us what love looks like thing? Uh, have we ever been in love? Yes, once with Dwayne Johnson, and that's why we will support him in all of his endeavors, no matter what. In everything? Even the Your tooth fairy? Yes. Okay, it was comedy, it was fantasy, it was commentary on what it means to be human. What else do you need? A plot? All right then. I think you're ready. Now go out there and be me. Get out of here, get out of here. This is insane. This is never gonna work. That one girl's prettier than the other one. Oh my god, are you Lily Singh? I love you. <laughs> smile. No, smile bigger. Lily. It's already working. I can't believe that white people can't tell the difference. I know, right? This is so funny. By the way, I didn't want to like fangirl before, but I just want to tell you, I loved you in Slumdog Millionaire. So good. J-Ho. Classic. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Look at me, I made a YouTube video. Go Lily, I'm so excited. My new show, A Little Late with Lily Singh, premieres on NBC on September 16th. Uh, we just launched a YouTube channel. The link is in the description. You can click right there as well. But while you're here on my channel, make sure you subscribe. Yo, one love, Lily, that is a wrap and soon.